Hey guys, today I want to talk with you about this SR08 Smart Ring, which is a Bluetooth low energy enabled ring, which can be used to track your fitness, uh, like step counting, heart rate sensor, and also it can show the time because it has this wonderful tiny LED um, display inside of the ring, which is just uh, impressive for this size. And it uses a Dialog DA14584 microcontroller, which has normally only OTP memory inside of, I think, 96 kilobytes, but they luckily used an external flash inside of the ring to have a reflashable custom firmware or firmware space. And this external flash inside of it is um, one megabyte in size, which is quite nicely big, of which the firmware itself cannot be fully used, of course, but they uh, have uh, made it so you have external flash to save stuff, or you have also a multi-bank over the air update yeah, system, I would call it. And yeah, let's take a closer look and most of importantly, uh, how to flash a custom firmware onto them and where you can find the source code of this custom firmware. So this video will be quite the long shot to explain everything at once, but let's try it. So first of all, you see four rings here already, one of which is fully disassembled, one which has been opened halfway and another one as well. This unfortunately shows how simple it is to brick them because all three of them will never be running again. This is the only one I have right now left and the whole Dialog DA14584 development cycle is such a pain and also I was not able to get direct debug access in the ring. You can see the pinout quite well and also if you connect to it, it works out in the size, but yeah, the flasher just does not connect then. So I got out and yeah, got one of the development boards directly from Dialog. Oh, these days it's Renesas. It was about 35 euros. So if you ever plan to develop for the ring a custom firmware further, make sure to get something like this. And even there you see I had to replace the onboard SPI flash because the stock one is only 256 kilobytes. But since the one in the ring uses one megabyte, the flashing itself did not align. And even the bootloader to flash this flash chip needs to be changed uh, to even allow flashing such a big size. But to get further. I added this to the custom firmware repository on GitHub. For once you can uh, get the, just a pre-compiled demo firmware, the stock firmware, a bit of data sheets. Um, the pinout should now also be there. So you know exactly what goes where inside of the ring. And I also added a nicely tool now which you can find uh, oops, here for once, a Python script that creates the correct uh, over the air header so you can flash the firmware onto the ring since the company making the ring did change something inside of it. But also inside of this tool uh, folder, you have this jtechprogrammer.bin, which is the edited bootloader, flashing bootloader for the uh, dialog chip to even uh, be able to flash the big SPI memory. Damn, that's a long way to go. Where did we want it to go? Okay, uh, I wanted to show you how to flash a custom firmware onto the ring. So, you have the fully stock firmware on it. It's unopened. And you can use the SUOTA app from Renesas. You can find it in the Google Play Store. And just simply scan for the ring you have. Select it. It will connect to the ring. It will not show much infos. You can then click on update. And you on first boot need to yeah, select a folder where you put in your 
firmware files you want to flash. I have for once the stock firmware and the custom firmware. It will show a CRC error. This is because the ring producer changed the over the air update slightly for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, just ignore the message. The settings should be okay as they are. Just check them. And otherwise you can just see how the update goes. And the custom firmware is flashed right now. It's quite fast even. And yeah, after the upload, it will ask to reboot and we do it. And now we can see the custom firmware is running. And if we push the touch button, it will turn on and turn off. And in this mode, it is uh, drawing like three milliampere, but if you turn it off, it is like 18 to 19 microampere, which will last quite a long time on this mode. So the custom firmware is prepared for much of this stuff, but really just the basic. And other than that, you can now go back and rescan. A new device will pop up, which is called test and with a fixed MAC address. This is the custom firmware running. And if we click on update, we can just select the stock firmware again. It will yeah, notify about the CSC again. Let's just ignore it. And what's funny is if you up the upload and turn on the display, you can see such a drop in speed and yeah not so important because it has to drive the display at the same time it drives the bluetooth low energy stuff it will still finish of course then we can reboot again and it will go fully stock again as you can see it's now just the good old stock firmware and yeah what else to say about this this custom firmware is really just showing the basics it's showing how to drive the display, how to drive the touch sensor or how to react or wake up to the touch sensor. And should you want to make a real or a better custom firmware and dive deep, please get something like a dev board with a Dialog DA14584. And then you also have like serial uh, output. If I just, for example, show it to you. I have currently connected the UART to a USB to UART converter. I have connected the PPK2 to output 3.3 volts so we can measure what power is used by the uh, SOC. And other than that, if we now yeah, just reset the board, we can see for once it's booting and showing the timer values. And also it's showing the current draw, of course. Since now the board is basically in this wake up mode, it draws this mentioned three milliampere. And if it sleeps, it's like these 18, 19 microampere. And while this is all just very much rambling about, I'm quite excited about the custom firmware itself, but the development cycle is such a pain that I will stop here and just maybe leave it to someone else if someone yeah, wants to dive, dive deep. Um, yeah, have a great day.